saved ones. He cared for ones. He healed ones and raised one. I woke up with him by my side reassuring me that I'll be alright lying there wondering what happened he told me how lucky I am Well, it just goes to show the amount of, the amount of people, uh, th what they thought of John Haynes. I mean, I've never seen anything like this before. I've never seen so many ambulances and bikes. I've never been to a parade before. It was very touch bad. But at the end of the day, there's, you save countless lives. Nobody would ever know how many lives that man saved. And uh, the fact that he was on, the, the best skill he had, he was on it in minutes. He had the skill to be a motorbike racer. Had he raced himself, he, he would have been up there with the best, you know, and so, because you know, he was always hanging on, even the superbikes, he was hanging on to the tail and he couldn't pass them, but he got a buzz out, out of what he was doing and without a second thought would revive somebody back to life with two punctured lungs just by piercing something into their, you know, oxygen into their lung to keep them going again. And five minutes later, he's back round ready to start the next race without a second thought with such confidence, you know, very intelligent man and I don't know what the centre's going to do, he's going to be sorely missed. The amount, the amount of... The, It took a lot of time to train up to be as good as he has been and you, you don't just replace somebody like that, that's years of experience. He, he's been at this 13 years and you have Fred McSorley who sort of took a back seat and you know Fred might come back in at the deep end to, you know to train somebody up again but you know at the end of the day he's, he's irreplaceable. It's, 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 it's a big huge loss. The riders confidence going out the race. The, They'll know he's not there. They called him a, a, their guardian angel, and he was always at the back of the grid. And they, they would have joked about it, but it, it was no joke when he was bringing somebody back to life, which he, which he done many, many times. And uh, he's going to be sorely missed. Like it just goes to show the amount of people here, how much he was respected. I mean, it's a pity. It's a pity he's dead. And, even outside motorbike racing, the amount of lives he had saved at Craigavon Hospital is just endless, you know, and, and to do it with such confidence. And, and then what, like, were you surprised by just how many had turned out, or were you expecting that big a turnout? Well, I was, ex I was expecting uh, loads of bikers coming uh, behind John from Skies, but I, I wasn't expecting people to come and spectate, and we've all sorts of people here from all around the country and they're here in campers and everything I mean unbelievable I mean it's such a big following such a big respect it's not you're talking you're talking a writer and it's on the his team here it's not just like one writer and whoever follows him it's all the writers and all the people that follow him spectators a lot I mean he was as entertaining to watch as some of the riders. If you'd have seen him going over the jumps at Kells, the, the, all he had race tires and race suspension, and, but uh, he had, you know, he had all that equipment on, and you know, I seen him, I seen him doing a track day with Jeremy McWilliams in Spain, and Jeremy was showing him the way around. I was talking to Jeremy this morning on the phone. He said he had very little to teach on, but he was, John was amazing, like, and. It's, it's very, it's very sad. I feel it's real sad for his family because the, the, you'll go through life and there's very few people you'll actually meet who will be as intelligent and friendly and hardworking and, and not ask anything in return for it. It's just his duty, and that's it. Uh, you know, he had the skill to go racing, but he, he knew his duties was with, you know, to be the flying doctor and. Uh, he done some job like he's I don't know. I don't know what the Santa's gonna do now.